Hello, my beautiful fountain friends, fountain fiends, boils and ghouls, cars and coils. This is a pen from Japan that I forgot I ordered until I saw it in the mail today. It's new pen day. I literally just recorded the Twispy video. Cardboard in the envelope. Oh, this is nicely secured in here. Yeah, you know what this is. You saw the title. You've already judged me for it. I I accept that. Because I don't even know how this is going to write. Yeah. But you saw it. You saw the title. I did a little bit of research on Google. I like looked at the gentleman's stationer's blog post about it, and that's it. I don't know if there's any other videos on it. I didn't look, so I'm not gonna be like, "Ooh, I'm the first. But I've never seen anybody talk about this pen on YouTube, and I haven't looked. So you can judge me for that too. Go away. Thank you. Whoop! It's a sailor. It's a sailor. It's a sailor. My second sailor pen. <clears throat> also my second sailor imperial black pen. So we will absolutely be taking a look at those. Together. Oh, fantastic. Oh my gourd. Uh, this is a lot of packaging. So we got the envelope. We have the cardboard, you know, seller sleeve. We have this plain white sleeve and a blue box it's backwards Boom. whoa not that blue calm yourself camera oh <laughs> see I thought it was fancy and it's gonna have like a magnetic flap and stuff but no this is significantly cheaper than the other one was let's see is there anything under the bed what kind of monsters we got in here? It was just a little bit of information. So, 0.5. Pencil, red, and black. Sweet! I don't have to deal with any blue bullshit. Awesome. Awesome. See how much research I do? I don't remember what kind of things this has. Alright. Coolio, Julio. Here we fucking go. Ooh. It's got, it's got one of these tags. 5,000 yen. Ooh. Ooh, okay, cool. So there we go. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black Multi-Pen. Oh wait, there is blue, okay. It's got a .5 pencil. We will obviously do writing samples of all this stuff. It's got a black, it's got a blue, and it's got a red. So, let's look at this up close. It has the black ion coated trim that the Imperial Black Fountain Pen does. It has a band here. It's a Sailor Japan founded 1911. Standard for Sailor. That clip, you know, that Pro Gear clip. This is definitely slimmer than the Pro Gear, and it feels a lot heavier too. Like it feels like this is made of metal and not resin. But as far as I know, this is made of resin. It's just got a lot of stuff in it. And you know, all these are ballpoints except the pencil. I said it, I said it, I said the B word. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm not really totally sure how this works. Nope, that, sh that unscrews things. That's the pencil. Ooh, that's a little clunky. Uh, 
I guess it just uh, I don't know how this works. <laughs> I think this is one of those times that I actually need to read the manual. Hold on. Holy shit, you guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. And there is one other video of this on YouTube by White Love Reviews from about a year ago. So if you want, you know, an actual intelligent human being to review this pen, go look at his review. Very fancy with the White Loves. Look at under that clip, though. Look at that. That's not anything to do with my lighting. That's that, like, oil slick from the coating. So, 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 this is cooler than I thought. I don't know if I said that, but it's cooler than I thought. So the way you change the function, okay, whichever one of these is pointing up, that is the color you'll get. Okay, so right now I have the black pointing up, and it gives me the black pen. And then it's just like a little, like, ratchet twist to retract. And then I have the blue. It gives me blue. And if I have the .5 pencil, it gives me the pencil. And if I have the blue, I think I had said that already, I have, there's the red. That's cool. It was taking me such a tremendous amount of effort. I was trying to read Japanese, okay? I cannot read Japanese. I cannot speak Japanese. I cannot understand Japanese. Much to my dismay. That's not something I'm proud of in any capacity whatsoever but this is really cool this is really cool this is awesome it's heavy though it's heavy though i don't know i wouldn't want to use this for extended periods of writing but i wouldn't want to use one of these for extended periods of writing anyway let's be real here okay okay so let's look at this next to its sister or brother something Let's not gender our inanimate objects, people, because that's a no bueno. Okay, so the clip, it's not completely identical. Like, the way it sticks out on the top of the fountain pen is it's different. Definitely, this one has like an eh, and then uh, and this one goes eh, uh, you know? Or like, you eh. know. Yes that thing. Yeah, it's designed differently too. This one has like, it's like folded under there and folded on the sides and this is just like one juicy piece of sexy majestic fuckery. <gasps> um, they have like flat ends at the top. This one doesn't have that beautiful anchor that the fountain pen does. This fountain pen is just Oh my god, oh my god, probably the most expensive fountain pen that I will purchase for the time being without some kind of divine information, intervention. But yeah, it's longer. This doesn't have that nifty stuff going on under the clip either. This is ten times the price. So, but I would rather have one of these than ten of these. I, I haven't even written, never mind, enough relevant information. But yes, cool, same kind of, same color trim, same kind of dealio, same color rays, matte black, heavier than that fountain pen. So, let us get uh, go to for fountain pen review paper, Maruman Nemosine. That's how it's pronounced Maruman Nemosine. Because it's Nemosine, Mamanime, Mana, Nemosine with like a Japanese accent because it's a Japanese brand. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but I'm not totally wrong with my pronunciation. It's definitely not Nemesine. Okay, so we'll start with the blue, get it out of the way. No, no, we'll do the black first. Yes, how cool is that?
I don't have to use pressure. I wonder if these are like rollerballs. No, it's totally ballpoint. But like, I don't have to push. I can push. But I totally don't need to do that. It's definitely darker. The refills this takes are the D1 style. And that's very common. Like, you can get Kaweco ones. Kaweco ones? You can get platinum ones? You can get pilot? Like, there's high-tech C ones that I totally want to stuff in here. But this is... This is good. So we have... I'm pretty sure these are all 0.5. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so not the same as a fountain pen. Why would it be? It's a ballpoint. But hey, hey, sometimes these are useful, okay? I don't make the rules. Bed. Yeah, these aren't bad. I'd want to look for some better though. Like there's a uni one, uniball one um, for their jet stream line that I've heard is amazing. There is a ballpoint pen and mechanical pencil reviewer on the YouTubes who goes by Unsharpened. It, he wasn't always Unsharpened though. I can't remember what his name used to be. I feel really bad about that. Sorry, but you're cool. You're cool. He has a whole video comparing a bunch of different D1 refills. So, yeah, and this is I don't like that sound. I don't know do you hear it? It's like this isn't this is kind of wobbly in here, but I game I guess that's just gonna happen. It's a nice smooth lead in here too. Cool, 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 cool. So that's all the writing samples. Let's take this, this bad boy part. <clears throat> so that unscrews like so. I am assuming that this is where you would pull these out to replace them. So there's a brass collar there. Oh, and there's there's little stickers on them. So you can see what you're doing. Ooh. Let me get that pencil out so that I can retract the lid. Nope, it's not let me do it. Okay, but I'm guessing that's how you'd refill it. You would take this out and then put new lead in, which is probably a pain in the butt. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. So, ooh, you see that? The light hits it a certain way. Get the blue button, whatever. I can't see it now. I'm not going to waste your time trying to find it. Try time. Listen, my brain is not functioning. I got up way too early today. Uh, there's an eraser. Cool. That comes out. Let's see. Can we see in there? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. This is just eraser. But that's cool. This, yeah, and then the, you can push this out if you rub it down a little bit. It's pink. Let's test the, this eraser. Most people don't use these erasers on pens, but... That erases very well. Yeah. 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 Because that's what it says. So that's cool. This looks to be brass. It's probably brass in here, too. Pretty sure this is a metal pen. It's just matte coated. It feels like resiny kind of thing. Cool, cool. Half of this video is probably out of focus. My sincerest apologies for that. That sounded way more sarcastic than it was supposed to be, but it wasn't. It wasn't. This is cool. So, 
That was the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black Multi Pen. Multifunction pen, pen pen, ball point. Like three ball points in one pencil. So it's not, I don't get too many points off because it's also a pencil. And every good calligrapher needs a pencil. I'm not a calligrapher yet, but I will be soon. Soon. So have a good day, Punch Nazis. I love you. Bye.